Alright y'all. Next day, I'm really seeing God uh there's a lot of you know back and forth with energies, but it is definitely being blessed and increasing and in, in, in increasing, increasing and increasing. So uh, there was something else that came to mind that was very important. All right, uh, this has to do with uh, uh, something that Joe Dispenza uh, said to do, uh, which is the same thing as you know any uh, this meditation. It is what it is, and blessing your energy centers. So when it comes to healing, all right. Um, the same way anytime you feel pain you keep blasting that area with love so you feel the intention of love whatever gets you to feel that and then you remember what it feels like remember what that feels like and when when you recall that feeling it'll come up and the more you do it the faster it comes up so when it comes up it's like boom you got all this power all right, that's that's what happens. All right, so when you let's say you have pain, uh, you you tap into that, right? That love, unconditional love energy, uh, and you bless your your pain, the area. When I say bless, it's just giving it to it. All right, you you go to that area and you push it in. You breathe and and kind of like push it in to that area that you have pain all right that's how you would heal yourself and just keep on doing that um and over time you actually will heal yourself for real now the other uh, and joe dispensa actually found that uh in his research that that is working so when with the meditation yes it does that as well uh, in all of these little facets, all right, these moments of um, when you start feeling things, all right, if that's good for the future. Like if you feel a vibe in the future, you block that shit. If you feel some gut feeling and that's not what you want to do or your attention is brought to something, you put that in there and, and heal that with what the arsenal. Uh, which is your, you know, faith and all these other things. But back to healing, okay? Back to healing. Um, in healing, uh, you can heal others the same way. So when you tap into that feeling, all right, um, and you feel the emotion of love and then push it into another person, then you will actually heal that other person um, and they will feel it. Uh, I have done this multiple times and it does work. So you literally put your hands on them or focus on them and focus on the area where they're having pain and you apply that love energy and the pain just disappears. All right, so that's, that's already like, you know, this is, when I say OP, it's OP. Um, there's other techniques as well as far as desiring. Now, when you desire, you can attract physical material as well, but you can, through the power of your magnetic, of your heart, um, that's one thing, but you can also extract those things. So let's say if there is something that is uh, you know there or whatever uh, and you do it uh, and you desire that particular feeling so just like if somebody says like a child like you look at whatever this is right I don't know what that thing is laying there right I'm not sure but I know it's that thing right so that thing is what you latch on and desire whatever that is so you don't always have to know exactly what it is or define it to the t um to cure it 
You can, but there are also other ways of doing that. And you can literally pull that energy out. So, yeah. That's why I'm saying it's OP for real because it, it becomes you become a beast and, and nothing stops you, you know. So I'm focusing right now on um, something, uh, uh, making certain goals. All right. I'm making good money, but the things that jump in the way, I'm able to pull out and people feed other things into your life. You can pull it out. You can pull that out of your life by desiring that one thing and desiring to extract, right? So you do that, you focus on it, and breathe. Keep breathing because that breath allows uh, a magnetic charge. What when, That basically gives that love energy power, right? So you keep doing that and bam, you'll pull it out. Stay focused. Sometimes... Some of them are deep and hard to get out. But if you stick with it and don't waver, it'll start to loosen. And the next thing you know, it's good to go. You know, so that's something else that I wanted to put out there. These are, these are what I do from the inside out. So from the inside out, that's that's how it works. Okay. Uh, so remember that we're healing. Healing yourself and others. That's how that works.